Eli Whitney radically changed both agriculture and manufacturing in America during the 18th and early 19th centuries. Eli Whitney is best known for his invention of the cotton gin, which revolutionized the cotton industry in the South. He's also famous for the idea of interchangeable parts, which really helped initiate factory production and the second wave of industrialization. Born in 1765, Eli Whitney grew up on a farm in Westboro, Massachusetts. After attending Yale, he got a job working on a tobacco plantation in South Carolina. With the tobacco market in decline, Whitney's employers turned to a new cash crop, cotton. In that area, they had an abundant supply of cotton. However, the cotton has lots of seeds, and it took hours of manual labor to remove those seeds and then spin the cotton into a fabric. Eli Whitney was a gadgeteer and what we would call an inventor today. He realized that this was a very laborious process and developed a simple machine, the cotton engine or cotton gin, to separate the cotton from the cotton bowls. The cotton gin was a simple machine which was able to mechanically separate the fibers from the seeds ten times more efficiently than a slave. It wouldn't have been possible to establish the cotton industry in the south without this device. It's more efficient production of cotton called for greater demand for hands to produce the cotton and to harvest the cotton. The cotton gin led inadvertently and quite tragically to the explosion of the slave system which had been on the wane in the late 18th century. Whitney patented the cotton gin in 1794, hoping to install the device in cotton plantations all over the South and charging farmers two-fifths of the cotton profits. Because Eli Whitney's cotton gin was very simple, people then tried to infringe on his patents and they developed their own versions of it. So Eli Whitney spent a large fraction of his life suing people who were trying to infringe on his patents. Since Whitney had such a hard time receiving profits from his cotton gin, he went into the arms business and in 1798, won a congressional contract to build 10,000 muskets for the U.S. Army. In Eli Whitney's time, every item had to be made from scratch and its parts were self-contained. Building 10,000 muskets as individuals would take an enormous amount of time. That's where he conceived the idea of interchangeable parts. So you can make 10,000 triggers, 10,000 barrels, 10,000 rifle butts, and then put them together as needed. This introduced the concept of assembly and revolutionized mass production. Late in life, Whitney wed Henrietta Edwards, and together they had several children. Eight short years later, Eli Whitney died on January 8, 1825. Today, Eli Whitney is often considered the father of American technology. Eli Whitney has an important legacy as symbolizing the constant innovative tendency of the Industrial Revolution. While most people remember him for the invention of cotton gin, it's really the concept of assembly and interchangeable parts that truly changed the world.